Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you and explain to you how you can share um, Torum sets created at the site level with other sites, all right? Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. I actually uh, recorded a video a little bit earlier. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is where I explain to you how you can create uh, Torum sets locally at the site level, uh, all right, without going to the you know, uh, Torum store at the uh, global uh, admin level. Uh, just to refresh your memory, uh, this is what essentially I'm talking about. I am, uh, happen to be on this HR team site. And if I click on the information, view all site settings, if I click Torum store, uh, I essentially will see a list of uh, all the available uh, Torums and uh, Torum sets. Uh, of course, I have this global Torums created globally, but I also created uh, essentially uh, one uh, term set uh, at my set level. And the beauty about this is that uh, the idea behind this was that uh, I can now uh, go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, create a metadata column, all right, and utilize this local, locally created, you know, term set. Let me show you, all right, right here. You see, I can choose uh, this locally created term set and utilize it. Uh, on the site. And th that's very important to note. Uh, this term set that I created only exists on this site. All right. So that means I can add it to any list of library on my site, but that's about it. All right. So if I happen to be on another site, I happen to be, I happen to have this other site, you know, payroll teams, right? If I click, um, you know, again, I want to create manage metadata column, I want to rely on this term set from that other HR site, too bad, I cannot do that. So um, there is a trick though that is available that allows me to share the term sets between different sites. Let me show you how that works. So let's go back to my HR site again. And what we need to do, we need once again uh, to navigate behind the scenes to the uh, local term stop. So I'm going to navigate just like that stone management. All right. Uh, now, um, while I'm recording this video, uh, Microsoft is still kind of transitioning everything to modern. So this feature is not available in, in modern view just yet in modern term store, which is what we have here. All right. Uh, but essentially what I need to do is I need to share this, um, you know, all the storms with uh, another site. Uh, again, it's not available. This is not something that's available in this modern mode. So I need to return to classic just like that. All right. So click here and it will, you know, temporarily go back to a little bit different layout. Um, this is how the term store looked uh, for many, many years uh, before Microsoft decided to modernize it. And again, you know, here is my local one just like that. All right, and then over here, site collection access. This is where you need to paste the URLs with the sites you are sharing with, all right? It's blank, so let me uh, copy that URL of that site, just like that. Here we go, I'm copying it, pasting it, all right, and clicking save. So I'm just essentially sharing it with this payroll site. Let's see if this works. So I'm now on the payroll site. I click on documents. I want to create manage metadata column. All right, here we go. I want to select the term set and look at this. All right, in addition to all the global terms I have within the, you know, my uh, global term store, I now have, you know, essentially um, because I shared uh, all of these term sets, I now have all the term sets. I, I only happen to have one, by the way, but if I had multiple, they would end up uh, over here as well. But uh, here we go. I can now uh, take advantage of this document type term set that I created back on the HR side, but I can take advantage of this on the payroll side. All right. So very, very powerful feature. And let me, for example, um, you know, just, I guess, to finish this off, let's create a column. Here we go. And, uh, you know, pretty powerful. So now if I need to, uh, you know, create a document or maybe upload a document, doesn't really matter. Here we go. Uh, I will be able to essentially tag against the values that once again got created, all right, that were created, um, you know, back on another site altogether, all right? Um, I think this is great uh, functionality. So here we go. This is how it works. Uh, just to finish this off, 
Um, all right, and then, uh, yeah, I think this is a great functionality. Again, this local term store, you know, the site level term store functionality is great because sometimes if you're part of a large organization, you don't really have access to the global, you know, uh, store, a term store that is available at the admin level, right? Not a problem, you can always create it locally uh, and you can take advantage of all the functionalities that are typically available within the term store, like hierarchy of terms, you know, synonyms, you know, language translations, etc. cetera. Uh, and in addition now, just like I demonstrated in today's video, you can also share it between different sites, all right? So if you created one and one site and maybe you have a few other sites, that uh, would like to take advantage of the same term set, all right, or a few different term sets, you can now easily do that using the trick I showed you today. All right, um, so that's all I really wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.